a super sneaky tag lapel choke from Side Control. Your partner's aren't going to see this one come. Hey guys, Rich Tom here. I love this choke. Uh, I use it all the time and I'm not the only one. You know, Bernardo Faria has some big wins over crazy notable black belts like Leandro Lowe. I mean, these guys are the best of the best and when stuff works on them, it's gonna work on your buddies of training. So, when you do this choke, it's all about being sneaky. So, in my academy, we call it the sneaky tag choke, you know, because it's all about being sneaky. Some attacks need power or strength or explosion or speed or flexibility. For this, you want to be sneaky. So, my partner here is lying down and I'm going to choke. The reason this choke works so well is because I'm going to be using my own gi. So, in case we've just started rolling in the night or something and my gi's all tucked in, I'd just be here and I'd pull out my own gi lapel here. What I'm looking to do is to control the tag of my gi, okay? And when I do this, it's very crucial that I totally encompass the end of it so he doesn't see it. We don't want to let him see that. He's going to see that coming after he's been choked because this choke is tight. So make sure you hide it. It has to be totally held within your hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my left hand in a cross face position and I'm going to have my head down low. I can use my chin or my cheek to help add pressure and control the variable of this hand. And now what I'm going to do with my tag is I'm going to put my, the back of my hand on him like I've sort of given him some back fist strike and I'm just going to push it straight up into my awaiting left hand and I'm going to grip it with my thumb and fingers, palm down as close to his neck as possible because this is going to act like a knife, like I'm putting a knife around his neck here, okay? So we start off this choke tight, okay, and we keep our head down to block his view and now I can pull my lapel out and I hold it in my hand. I now push it up and I grab it tight right next to his neck. Don't go gripping it out here because you're just going to have to take away that space later. So grab it nice and tight to his neck. And now the choke's going to come on tight. Okay, I'll try to loosen it off a little bit so I can really take you guys through it. Our right hand is going to come down to his hip and now my head is going to come down there also. Here. Okay? From this position, if I just go like this with my hand, I'll get the choke, even with a loose grip, right? So like, this is a really loose grip, but watch. Hand, head, watch my hand. It's so easy. With a tight grip, so if you do it with a tight grip here, you'll get a tap as you rotate around, okay? But you know what, you guys are gonna screw this up, you're gonna grip it too deep or loose. We, we all do, it's Jiu Jitsu, it's real, right? So it's not perfect. You know, if you want everything to look perfect and you wanna flip people with their wrists and make them do somersaults, go do a fake martial art, right? Because then it will be perfect, because it's not real. But we all know Jiu Jitsu is real, so you know what, it's not gonna be perfect. So let's presume now you screw it up, right? Because you did something wrong, or he did something right. So I'm here, and I grab it, and put my hand, I put my head and I'm going, Rah! I can't finish it. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to push my left hip against the side of his head and I'm going to push my hip mass, my center body mass, that way because I'm pulling the lapel this way. So I'm now just going to push his head against the fulcrum, which is my tag. So from here, I get here. One, two, and he's not tapping, I can't get him. Watch my hip, he's gonna hit right into his head. Okay, and there's a lot of torque there, be careful, there's a lot of torque through their neck. But you know what, on a rainy day, that might be just a thing, there's a difference between you getting a submission in the competition or not. If that isn't working, I'm finally going to, my left hand, right, is grabbing my lapel, I'm gonna reach under and grab over my hand with my right, and I'm gonna swing a baseball bat. So I'll really have to loosen this up here to demonstrate this. So I'm gripping here, I'm around, I just can't get it. So I put my head on the ground, I reach around, I grab my own hand, and now I swing that baseball back. And that is gonna really get him, okay? If I had that grip, 
and he wasn't tapping. The final thing that I can do, it's really hard to even demonstrate, is I can spin all the way over. But the amount of torque that puts through their neck can be injurious. So there you have it guys, the sneaky tag choke. I like this one because it's no risk. If they see it coming and stop it, you can start attacking the neck or the arms right away. You never gave up position for your submission because I'm a big fan of being a submission hunter. I think that's the cool part about Jiu Jitsu. But obviously we don't want to give up position for submission. Okay, because if the submission doesn't work out and our position gets eroded, he may have a dominant position and now he's in the position to submit you. So even if you only care about submissions, positions should still be a critical factor in your thinking at all times. So if you want to attack, awesome, but some of the best attacks like this one are ones that are low risk. So you guys can start from side control, all you gotta do is this. Done. Low risk, and boy does it work. Just go easy, especially if you guys have to row with the hands or push with the hip, because uh, yeah, the horsepower gets up there. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom. Enjoy choking next, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video guys. For more videos, click here. To subscribe to this channel to get all of our awesome videos, click here. And if you'd like to have our hour long series for free on foot locks and how to defend foot locks and leg attacks of all kinds, please click here. I'm Coach Tom guys, I'll see you next time.